is just as I remember it. You have done an admirable and remarkable job, if truth be told. Uh, well done to all of you. Well, well done. It's not a beautiful room. I will tell you something. It's a little no, but in Mrs. Washington's in my time, the typical home here in America, whether it be up to the northward or down to the southward, the typical home would fit inside this room. It is magnificent. Magnificent. Madam. It is truly an extraordinary room, General. Thank you for inviting me to see it. Oh, it's a pleasure. A and, pleasure. Uh, I don't think I've seen anything like it, even in America. Well, some might argue it is a little bit fancy for a republic, but, you know, we have worked hard here at Mount Vernon, and the truth be told, as the first citizen of this new nation, I think it is appropriate, absolutely appropriate. There was a younger man back there. I've been admiring your portrait. It seems a fine likeness, sir. It is, uh, it is a likeness that was done by Colonel Trumbull. Uh, he had served for a short time as an aide-de-camp during the War of American Independence. That is for Planck Point, and uh, it's a really remarkable story. I, I will not bore you with the details during the war, but the Planck Point was in New York, Stony Point was in New Jersey, and it was a choke point on the Hudson River. And that, of course, was critical because the King's Ferry crossed right there, and we fought battles there to take and control that area. My goodness, days gone by. <laughs> <laughs> 